Hey guys, it's Deborah here again for another video with you. Today I'm going to be making tags and pockets for my junk journal. So welcome. Let's get going. I've pulled out a bunch of Tim Holtz papers. I've also got some Tim Holtz stamps and a number of manila pockets and tags just from my drawer. I'm trying to use up everything that I've got in my stash. I'm not sure that's ever going to be possible, but at least I'm giving it a go. These papers are 8 by 8 and I've got an old book page here. I've folded this, I've cut it into a square and I've folded it in half so I can make a triangle. I've cut down some of my pages so they're going to fit in my junk journal. And now I'm going to make some pockets on them. So this would be the base that goes in the junk journal and I'm just going to put down my piece of folded book page with the open ends to the outside so that I've not got an open end there. And then I'm going to take one of these. So this is just a pocket thing that I had in the drawer. They came pre-made like this. And I'm just going to add that onto here as well. So I've effectively created two pockets on here so I can put two different lots in. So I found this little lock in my stash and I've just put a glue dot on the back of it. It's metal and now I'm just going to stick it here on the corner there. Then I've got some tags. This is a top 10 list. It's a Seven Gypsies Manila cardstock tag. I'm going to put that in the front one. And then in the back one I've got a plain tag. So I could put it in the back one, but first of all I'm going to stamp on that, make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to pop it down on the edge here, so that if I want to I can do some journaling on here. The next stamp I'm using is just a string of numbers. I'm going to put that on here too. This is just another piece of cardstock from the same pack and I'm just going to fold this piece in half. Pop it down the bottom here. So I found this word in my stash of things so I'm just going to um, rip it, make it a bit more grungy. And then ink around the edges using my distress ink. Then in this one, I'm going to put this report card. Again, I'm just going to ink the edges a little bit so it matches in and blends in a bit more for me. I'm going to create a tag now, so I'm just going to cut this down. I'm just using another of these words I found in my stash. I've inked around the edges and I've done this corner pocket. So it's the same as the one that I did before, this one, and I've covered it with um, paper from the book and I've just inked it up a bit to grunge it up a bit. So that, uh, oh, just for something different really. And I'm just going to cut it down now so it's a bit smaller at top. And I think that's a bit more in proportion. There you go. I might just put another stamp on this. See what I've got in here. See if that works. There you go. That's not bad for something that's probably 10 years old. 
I'll just put that pocket watch on there and I'll put that in there and now I've got another tag so I've got now a set of three things to put in my junk journal there they are there hasn't taken me that long to make them I'll just move that over so you can see it there you go and I feel like I need to put another word on here to go with the things but I'm not going to because they won't be in the same place in the junk journal they'll be in different spots so it's really just about sitting down to make some things and uh, hopefully give you some inspiration thanks for joining me I'll see you next time cheers